This could be awkward. Hi guys, hello and welcome. It's your friend Chaotic, and we're playing the pig on Levy's Memorial. Bit of a strange one. Never played this map with the pig. So we are running. Nurse is calling three. Very important. Nice on the pig with the stealth aspect. We are running dying light, Thanatophobia and spice from the shadows. I'll explain more now. Just try and get a hit on this one. Thanatophobia is now in effect. I don't run from that a phobia on its own, but with dying light guys, if you've seen my race build, you'll know it's quite a nice get a bear trap on. Quite a nice if you can kill your obsession, the one with the little claws mark round them, round their name down the bottom, if you can kill them early on. You will slow down at let rank three. Slow down repair, healing and sabotage enjoy by twenty five percent. So if you Pair that with thanatophobia and you get a hit on someone, that's another 6%. You've got a 31% slower repairing, sabotaging and healing. We are running a little bit on the add-ons. We are running the jigsaw one where there's an extra jigsaw box. It's, it's a purple one. So there's five jigsaw boxes for them to search. And we're running the last will which gives you an extra bear trap. So you get five instead of four. So here we go, she's got an auditory warning, I hope they remove this from the game. When you're in ambush mode, if you look at the person, when it, when you're crouched and in stealth mode, they get a, a, a warning sound, I, I really hope they patch it. I don't believe they should have it in there. If you can sneak up on someone and they don't see you, well, that's fair game to me. So yep, I've now unlocked better stuff than Spice on the Shadows, but at the time I was probably the best I had. I want Overcharge. I think Overcharge on the Pig would be a great, great perk. Okay, so someone set off the crows. Just snuck around that corner, so let's give it a little tap. Okay, you can take a place if you like, madam, no problem. Bear trap on that one. So the other one's now preoccupied with getting a bear trap off. It won't it won't start until someone repairs a gen though, so she's got quite a bit of time. So we're gonna go have a quick look in style, see if we can uh, find any stragglers. Yep, credit to JK92 for inspiring me with this um, Dying Light Stroke Thanatophobia build. He used it on his Wraith. Credit where it's due. We've, we've taken aspects of it. I did Nurse's Calling. And you will get a good notification of that in use shortly. So they're starting to pop the gens. Spice on the shadows is giving me indications that the crows are being disturbed. There's scratch marks everywhere. So keep the pressure up. She's now missed her. She missed her skill check on the. Oh, she. Oh, sorry, she missed. She had the wrong jigsaw box. So there's five for her to look at now instead of three. That's I four. So, get, get him injured. This one's coming into play as well. That's our obsession. We get our warning noise. She's a prestige three Claudette, so put a nice reverse bear trap on her head. This is the one we want to kill. Now, if you're going to run Dying Light, you might want to put a Mobby on. She had a decisive strike to get off. Okay. Yep, if you can put a Mobby on, there you are, there's Nurse's Corner, I've got an indication now of that chap up ahead, Jake, he is healing, or he was healing, and he dropped the pallet on me, nice one, but we'll make you pay for that, that's one surefire way, but we're going to keep the pressure on, skip through the window, she could have doubled back then really,
That phobia is doing its work. In a panic, she vaulted the window straight towards me. We'll have that. So yeah, I wouldn't run into that phobia on its own. But with Dying Light, it's quite nice. I've now unlocked um, the one where is it called make make your choice. So I'm using that now instead of Spice from the Shadows. Where if anyone hooks within while well, I'm 32 meters away, I can hit the person who unhooked and get instant instant down. So it will help get the people down who are doing the, the hook saves. So someone's failed a. Uh, Someone's failed a jigsaw box up ahead. Try and find out which way they went. Scratch marks. We're taking a look because they hide in these corners quite often. And what you'll find on this map as well is we're having a little little look out here because they hide in the corners. And they hide behind the barriers. So it's worth a little look. So here we look and we got two down, one disconnect and one killed and two on two alive. With three generators left to do. So Dying Light is not in effect yet. That's why it's blacked out. So we're gonna I'm trying to stay indoors where possible so they won't see me coming. Go through through the indoor parts. They'll hear me because I'm not in stealth, but they won't necessarily see me. So you've got to find the generators now that are being worked on. So yep, nurse's calling is useful on the on the pig. Well, useful on every um, class really. Let's be honest. I love nurse's calling. So we can see Jake by there. Thinks he's got away with it. Okay. Which way are you going, Jake? So we got our last survivor running round now. So we're gonna get the bear trap on him in case he gets a, a YOLO save, as they call it. Pop them before we pick him up, because they're a the pain for the killer. Right, here we go. This prestige three Claudette. So I automatically looked up straight away. There we go. Nearly blinding me. If you get a, a torch in your face, guys. Look directly up if you can. And he's got away. Jake, I'm on you. We'll just have a quick look, see if Claudette's coming in for another flashlight save. Here she comes on my on my right. So we'll turn her back to her. So I know she's roughly over here, but where is the question? I think she possibly went to here. So we'll pop that guy out again. Nice move here, she dropped the pallet on my head, so we're now gonna switch targets. Jake's got a bear trap on. So I'm now gonna go for my obsession. So he's got a bear trap on his head and he's injured. So we're going to move on to the obsession, like I say. Let's see if we can get this one down. Our flashlight queen. Bear trap for you, my darling. Enjoy. Right, we just had a little glimpse of Jake with nurses calling. Top left, you'll see in a minute when I spin round. There he is, he's healing up, top of the stairs in the in the main bit of Larry's. So we're gonna go and pay him a visit. Oh we'll grab you. Not quite Jake, not quite. Didn't quite heal himself. So he's gonna have a trip to the basement for his troubles. So yeah. He's going on. And quite the Quite a good result. 
we're gonna sneak off and go and pay Fleshy Street Claudette a visit. Say bye bye. So there you have it guys, you see the build down the bottom if you'd like to try it. I'm not saying it's the best pig build, but it's doing okay for me. I'm getting two, three, four kills. Give me a little nod, say thank you very much. Along with the jigsaw, there's a well you got a lot of add-ons, same as any class. If you can get the one when it makes up the five jigsaw boxes, it's stall in time end of the day. The pig's all about stall in time. It's a pity I couldn't drop my obsession a bit quicker, would have been a lot easier. But they only done three generators. So I'm just going around now seeing if there's any more generators, pallets I can kick for extra points. Because I use the survivor pudding. Nope, that one hasn't been used. So there you have it guys. The Dying Light Pig Stroke Fanatophobia Stroke Nurses Calling build. I would take out Spice from the Shadows and use something better. But probably would have had more points if we didn't have that one disconnecting person. But uh, not too bad when we doubled up. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found anything useful, please give me a like. And I hope to see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.